This lesson is on engaging a classroom performance system lesson session. We begin by double clicking the CPS icon on the desktop. This will bring up the CPS software. Click on the Engage tab. You will see the CPS database in the left pane with a small plus sign beside it. Click the plus sign. This will bring up the Networking 1 folder. Click that plus sign also, and you will see the objective in the folder. Since this is the lesson that we want to engage, we place a check mark in the box beside that objective. You will see the questions for the objective in the right hand pane. At this point, click the Engage button. This will bring up the Engage bar. At this point, you should start your data projector and pass out the response pads to your students. When you have done this, you can begin the question session by clicking the Next button. You will notice that the text for this question is quite small. You can zoom the text to a larger size by clicking on the Zoom button. When the text is large enough for your students, you can begin the questioning. I typically begin by reading the question, which organization offers the A Plus and Network Plus certifications? I then click the Start button. This allows the students to respond. You will notice at the bottom of the screen there are 24 light blue tiles. Each tile corresponds to one of the response pads in our kit. As each student responds, their tile will change from light blue to dark blue. Student 1 has responded. Student 2 has responded. Student 3 has responded. Once all of your students have responded, you can click End to answer the question. The correct answer is shown given the student's immediate feedback. Also, at the bottom of the screen, there is some statistics that show you how the class is done. In this case, the class hasn't done very well. They have a question percent correct of 67%. That tells me that two of the three students answered correctly. Also, there is a cumulative percent correct, which at this point is the same because we've only got one question. If I had this level of response, I would typically go into a detailed explanation of why the correct answer was what it should be. When I'm ready to move on to the next question, I click the green arrow. I will read the question, what is the purpose of an IT industry certification exam? And then press the start button. The students can then respond. When all of the students have responded, I press the end button. They see the correct answer, and then I get the statistical feedback at the bottom of the screen. In this case, all three students have answered correctly, so we have 100% there, and the cumulative percent correct has increased also. Once all of the questions have been asked and answered, we can end the session by clicking on the red X in the bottom left of the screen. This brings us back to the Engage bar, which we also close. A dialog box pops up, and we click Yes. The session's over. At this point, I would shut down the data projector and take up the clickers. After I have done this, I can go to the Report tab and see how my students did. I would select the last session, click on Generate, and click on Instructor Summary then click on Preview. This will bring up a screen that shows me exactly how each of the students have done. As you can see, students 1 and 2 got 100% correct, but student 3 got only 50% correct. This is an extremely valuable tool for formatively assessing your students. You can see how each individual student is performing. And there are some reports that are available to you that will show you exactly which students act 
answered which questions correctly. So you can go into a much greater detail if you want to. You can shut down the software and this ends the lesson on engaging a classroom performance system lesson session.